Oh, corn cob. You're gonna have to do better than... What the? <laughs> Sorry, baby. Today, we're playing by Fillmore rules. This isn't over, pork grind! Out of the kettle and into the corn! Straight into that corn! Fillmore, your time of reckoning is nigh. Have some honor and face your destiny. Not now, Joyce. Yes, now! All my life, the pie-eating contest, the all-you-can-eat pretzel bars, the eight-foot subs, it's all been leading to this. You were once ex-middle school Sloppy Joe champion, but you will be defeated! You pathetic coward! Go on, walk away, pretend I don't exist! You'd do anything to avoid facing me, wouldn't you? I think I know who took checkmate. Run and hide, Fillmore! Run and hide! I will have my victory! Oh, hello, Officer Fillmore! Take off, Foggy. I got bigger fish to fry. And you? <laughs> You're just a shrimp on the Barbie, baby. Sure thing, Officer Fillmore. <laughs> Sorry, Joyce, but don't mess with the maestro. I know you feel me. Hey, does it really matter? The issue here is that you appear to be in our way. Get used to it, baby. On me. Be advised that Platinum Pass checks out. As long as the kid's got it, he is untouchable. Catch you on the bright side. Let's see that pass, cornstarch. Be cool, baby. You know I got it. I showed it to you. Then why don't you show it to me again? What the? Come back! <laughs> when my mom finds out what I did, I'm gonna lose all of them! Kip, the way you treat people, it makes sense that you only hang out with dummies and dogs. What? What do you mean? Man, Dewey acted like a friend, and you, you treated him like a chump. I didn't have a choice! If you're looking for justice, you found him. And his name is Officer Langley Turk. Now all we have to do is wait for your little friend Fillmore to show up and wait sober, Turk. I knew you were still a bad seed, Fillmore. Why didn't I wear my clip-on? Have a nice day, officer. And, uh, I believe this is mine. What do you want from me? How about helping us help you? Ingman and I have been busting our tails watching your back, and you've been fighting us every step of the way. That's because you're up in my business and whatnot. And you know what else I want from you? Complete silence, man. Because straight up, dude, you're the wackest MC I've ever heard. Hey, that's low. You can cut me down, though, but not my verse. You just rhymed bomb with wisdom. Now, that is pathetic. You better stick to chess, man, because your mic control is seriously lacking. No more.